my loves welcome back to my channel it's your girl shayla pre here and today we are going to get right into this jumbo box braids video so starting off um i'm gonna have my hair blow dried and i use the garnier fruit tees flat iron protector this stuff is so dope y'all it had my hair no frizz and um blow dried really really well okay so for the hair that i'm using i use the free trust natural texture braiding hair in the color 1b and it's 28 inches and these were about 5.99 a pack so they're not that expensive like i said the color 1b and then next you'll need the just some black rubber bands you can use clear too um it really doesn't matter because it's going to be tucked underneath so um and they were about a dollar and then you need some clips just had some ties for my hair style factor edge booster and i got the sugar melon scent and that stuff smells so good comb brush and then i also use the do grow hair oil and you'll see me using that at the end you need some mousse and it could be whatever you guys have on hand and then i just put a little bit of the do grow hair vitalizer any type of like uh, grease or cream or something like that and just a little bit you see just a little bit I'm normally heavy-handed but <laughs> you only need a little bit don't make it too greasy for your hair because your hands and your fingers will be sliding all over the place so you only need a little bit to go a long way okay y'all so here you guys can see i did the back of my hair off camera so i have about 10 10 braids yeah 10 braids and you'll see guys remember this is my first time so i have my <laughs> i have my two little braids at the bottom but that's all right i know for next time you just have to watch when you're um Cause I was trying to get the hang of like how small I wanted them, how chunky I wanted them. And I actually liked them. Like I made them bigger at the second row that I made. So, um, they were bigger throughout the rest of my head, but I got my two little ones in the back as you can see, <laughs> but it's all good. Okay. And guys, I had a little help. My mom was there to actually help me cause I didn't have a second mirror. So she helped me with the parting of the hair in the back so that was very very helpful helpful shout out the beanie all right so here you guys just see me i'm trying to figure out how i want and you could really part your hair any way you want it doesn't make a difference um some people do the triangle parts some people do almost like they're almost like curved parts so i've kind of seen it all on youtube but do it how you want part it how you want so I kind of want it almost like a, you know how you would do like a ponytail and make like a, kind of like a swoop. So I was trying to do like that because I like the way my hair looks with a swoop in the front. So I was trying to part it with the, um, that would kind of give me like a swoop effect in the front. So you guys just see me parting for that. So guys, I'm basically going to show you guys what I did around my whole head. So first you just want to take some of the uh, edge booster or whatever edge control is your favorite. And you could even use gossipy glue gel, like whatever you want to use. But take a little of that. Well, take a good amount of that and put it all over the edges. All the hair that you're going to put into that little ponytail put it around the perimeter of that and some people will even take and put it in between like they'll part the hair and put it in between so that it's super super slick um i didn't really do that didn't really make a difference to me um and i only had to touch up this edge booster is really really good 
I only had to touch up probably twice that week. So that was really good. Yep, so just take the um, edge control and then you'll just see me putting it in a ponytail. That's all you have to do. Just put it in your or put it in your rubber band, not a ponytail. Put it in your rubber band. So guys, after you use your rubber band and get your hair in a ponytail, you just want to comb it out. Comb it out really, really well. And then all you want to do is take, I had another edge control I was using as well, the Shine and Jam. And you just want to take a really, really good amount. And I was actually going back and forth between Shine and Jam and the Style Factor edge booster I was going back and forth between both of them but you want to take a good amount and put that all over the hair in the ponytail you really want to saturate your hair with that and like I said just use your favorite whatever your favorite edge controller edge control is just use that but you really want to saturate it and get it all over the hair and just a quick shout out I would not have been able to do this video or these braids. Um, who is Deja Lynn? Y'all can look her up. Um, she did the box braids as well. But I got this technique from her that I'm going to show you. And honestly, I am not a braider. So I definitely wouldn't have been able to do this without this technique. So shout out to who is Deja Lynn. Thank you, girl. All right, guys, so next what you want to do to get the braid started, take your crochet hook and put it underneath the rubber band, underneath the rubber band ponytail, right through the middle, up through there. And you can do it this way um, or the opposite way where the hook is facing towards your face. Just depends on what you're comfortable with. All right, so next you want to take your smaller piece of hair because you'll break it into two sections. You'll take the braiding hair and break it into two sections and you'll have a smaller section. So you wanna take the end of that smaller section. If you try to do it in the middle, it, you won't be able to crochet it, it'll be too thick. So take it towards the end of that braiding hair and you'll take it and place it on the hook. Make sure your hook is open. Place it on the open hook and then you'll just close it and pull it through. So that's what, that's what you'll see me doing here. Put it on that hook, close it, and just pull it through. This is harder, guys, with braiding hair. It's a lot harder with braiding hair. Yep, so you'll just pull it right through. And you'll pull it through until it's even on both sides. So you have the same length on both sides. And then what you want to do is take that piece of hair that we gelled, your real hair, and then just, you kind of just fold it in and I just use the braiding hair to cover it up. Because that way when I start braiding, you'll never even see it. Alright. So then you guys will have a another piece of braiding hair and you see that one is a little thicker because that other the one that we crocheted in that's kind of an equal part to those two sections that I have in my hand right there so that way all three of your sections are now the same size okay so you want to take the braiding hair take it around the ponytail and then you literally just start braiding like you would do a regular plait in your hair you just go under if you can see my hands I'm just taking each one under just like you would be plaiting your real hair like a free-falling plait in your hair
just one under under and over under and over under and over that's all you're doing just like you're doing a regular plait in your hair and then as I'm braiding you guys will see I'm gonna take some of the shine and jam and like I said I was doing more of the shine and jam for this part of the hair um, and you'll just take a little of that spread it in between your fingers and then put it on the hair a little bit so like every time I would start braiding I would put a little bit on like each section so each of the three sections I would just take as I'm going down the braid just to keep it nice and sleek and try to get rid of those flyaways because you don't want a lot of those it's less cutting at the end that you have to do but guys you see how easy this technique is like I don't know how y'all do it my hat is off to all y'all braiders out there because there I was trying to do it initially at first where I wasn't using the crochet hook and I was just taking the hair and trying to grab it on my own around the rubber band that was not happening so this crochet hook is like life for me because I'm not a braider I could not catch on to that for nothing to save my life so I'll definitely when I do like box braids in the future that kind of thing I will definitely be using like the crochet and the rubber band method it's just so much it's faster to me and it's easier All right, y'all, so I am going to let this play out at regular speed so y'all can actually see um, for the second time how I did the braids all over my head. Why am I so tender-headed? This is the best. But, <laughs> um, God, I hate it. Y'all don't understand the struggle. Tender-headed struggle. Anyway, though, so I'm going to let this play out so y'all can see again. Once again, you just want to take your edge booster, favorite edge control, put it around the perimeter and the edges. And some people take and do their, um, like the baby, I don't do the baby hair thing. Um, I just like my edges to look sleek um, and get my edges under control. But I don't really like, people be like brushing out baby hairs and doing all that. I don't really do all that, but uh, some people save it for the end to do. And some people kind of do it as they're doing the braids in the front. So it's up to you, like whatever floats your boat, whatever you're most comfortable with. You could do them now as you go along or save them at the end. And I just kind of did my edges as I went along for each braid. So it's just up to you, whatever you want to do. Take your crochet hook underneath the rubber band ponytail. Then take a section of your braiding hair. Remember to use the end of that braiding hair to hook it through or else you will be standing there trying to hook it through forever. Take the smallest end, crochet it through, and then pull it through until they're uh, the same length. All 
break and then take your other section of braiding hair which is once again remember it's equal to that piece that you crochet through so that way all three sections are the same length for braiding same length and same size for braiding that way you don't have lopsided braids so just take it over top of that rubber band and then under and over just like you're flattening your hair under and over and you're pulling it tight all the way and believe me guys it doesn't take a lot to pull it tight once you start braiding it automatically because that hair is crocheted through already that's how i said this technique is the bomb because you don't have to do much to make it stick and to make it stay and then just braid it down until you're done So to straighten out our braids because they're a little flimsy right now and they're stiff and all over the place. So you want to take your boiling hot water, turn it off, and then literally just dip your braids in. Be very, very careful. You can burn yourself. Please have a towel handy. And let it, when you take it out the water, wrap it in the towel. Keep it in the towel for a little bit and just squeeze it. Try to squeeze all that water out. Just squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Like if I would have took it away right now, like that would have burned through my dress. So just be careful, be very, very careful with it. And you just want to make sure that all of your ends have been dipped in the water. So as you guys can see, just take in and just drawing it a little more but as you can see those are the ends and they're a lot more pliable now and they lay nice and even now see how they're laying now before they were stiff and all over the place kind of sticking out everywhere and now they're laying flat All right, my love, so finally you guys are going to see me oiling my scalp. And this is for the final touches, just oiling my scalp, putting mousse all over the braids and on my scalp just to make sure everything stays in place. And then blow drying it to giving it that uh, nice crisp finish.
all right my love so that is it jumbo box braids for the first time and here is the final product i think i did an okay job now i really know how to do it so the next video will be bomb but hey i think i did good for my first try And I want to thank you guys so much for rocking with me. And don't forget to like and subscribe for future good vibes.